Let's start in Connecticut with Fox Weather meteorologist Kendall Smith. She's in the snow, live from Hartford, more than a half foot where you are already. Yeah, a lot of snow, Amy. And I didn't wow. think that this was possible, but the snowflakes have actually gotten even bigger since the last time we talked. I mean, these puppies are massive and they're just getting larger by the minute and we're talking about intense rates so an inch and a half two inches per hour right now that's quickly stacking up want to show you right now where we're currently standing it continues to increase here's my ruler you can see we're looking at six almost seven inches and i believe it because just to the west of us west hartford i was looking at some snow reports folks in the area saying they've picked up 10 inches in some spots, that's a lot of snow. And that really is showing just how well the system has really panned out. We had kind of the thought when we kicked off this morning that we wouldn't see nearly as impressive as to totals as we have seen. I just had a snowflake land on my, on my eyelashes. But it, it's really been verifying throughout the day so far today. And so the big takeaway is that the roads are a mess. And so we've got, again, just... Look how snow covered everything is. I will say that the snow plows have been doing an excellent job just clearing the roads the best that they can. We've heard from the State Department of Transportation that there's more than 630 snow plows out on the roads removing snow. Also, we've got more than about 900 personnel. And so it's, it's taken a whole crew to keep these roads somewhat cleared. I mean, it's, it's you can see it's still a mess out there. But surprisingly, Amy, there's been a lot of people out and about so far today, at least in downtown Hartford. And when you think about it, Hartford Public Schools closed. Most of the public schools around the area are closed as well. And it's good because we have been dealing with the snow since about 2 a.m. last night. It's going to last for another few hours. This right here, this time frame is definitely the worst of it. We knew this would be the case all the way through about 10 a.m. So we'll start to watch as kind of that backside of that storm system pushes its way on through. That's going to bring us again a few more bands of heavy snow. So I wouldn't be surprised if we pick up a few more inches between about lunchtime. But after lunchtime, that's going to be when the kind of snow machine shuts down. So we'll watch as it's just all that cold air on the backside at that point as the storm system, the area of low pressure, continues to push its way further to the east. And so what are we concerned with at that point? Well, it's going to be the freeze taking place tonight. We'll have temps dropping down into the low 20s and all of the wet surfaces. Not sure if you can see this. See if uh, we can pan down. We've got where the snow plows have removed the snow. Notice all of those wet surfaces. So areas just like right here, this is going to turn to ice. So we could be talking about things getting really slick right now. Thankfully, it's not too bad. This is going to be really slick here within just a few hours, especially tonight and into tomorrow morning. So yes. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, looks great. Folks will be happy about that, but it's going to be cold, and it's also going to be slick, especially to kick things off, Amy. Yeah, you're right at the 32-degree mark. You're right at the freezing point right there, so, so things will start to get frozen in many locations, and it's one of the reasons why you've got, got those big fat flakes flying. Uh, they look so good on camera. Uh, <laughs> that's what's uh, part of covering that road right behind you. I mean, earlier I, when we saw your reports, they had done a fresh clearing. Now they're back to a, to a snowpack and snow-covered road, so this is uh, one storm that'll have and to you be... Can... Yeah. There he goes. They're, they're coming through left and right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of these storms that you'll have to sort of remove in spurts so that you can keep up with the storm. Uh, impressive to see that they're closing in on seven inches of snow there in Hartford. Fox Weather's Kendall Smith, thanks so much for the update.